this will actually be a slightly more complex material. I'm going to start out as before by creating a new terrain material, moving it down into my other folder, giving it a name, um, Rocky Terrain Material. Okay, I'm going to create another terrain object so that I can preview it in the same using the new terrain material. And I'm going to add a couple of points to it so that I know what my material will look like in all cases. In this case, this has a top edge, a right edge, a left edge, and a bottom edge, which are all important. Change this to a closed fill type and tell it to split the corners. Okay, this will allow us to see caps on the end of our segments. Okay, so I'm going to go back to our terrain material here and I'm going to assign some images to it. Now I've got this texture here and I've got this texture here that we're going to be using. This one's going to define all the edges. This one's going to define the interior. And this could be a more textured image. This is just a, a, what I liked aesthetically with this uh, edge set. So I'm going to take the Unity materials that go with that and drag them onto their corresponding slots on the terrain material. Okay, so that, and then the edge material there. Okay, and again, it kind of becomes invisible since we haven't set up all the uh, the rectangles for the, the material. So I'm gonna fill these out. Um, for the left cap here, we've got um, 0, 1, 64, and 105. Now for these you're gonna want to make sure that you get rid of as much transparent areas as possible because um, fewer pixels is better pixels. 64 and 105. Another thing to, to note is that having um, a little bit of an offset from the top can prevent pixels from wrapping around from the bottom. You can get that a little bit when you have trilinear or bilinear filtering on, and this can just make it look slightly better. Okay, body here, 64, a Y of 1, 64 for the width, and 105. Okay, so um, now if you'll notice here, we've got this body part. Um, and we've got that going all the way around. The caps have turned themselves off. B by default, if it doesn't detect any caps, it'll sometimes turn split corners back off. So if I check that again, we'll get this. Now, you can see a lot of Z fighting at the corners here, and we'll fix that in a moment when we start defining the edges, and you'll see how that works. Um, but here we can get a good preview as to what this is going to look like um, already. Okay, so back here, I'll go to the left side, and I'll say use left. Okay, you can see the left side then goes away and we now have to define it in order for it to show up. So for left, um, this is really simple. We're only going to use the body. We don't need caps for this because the caps would be behind the other segments. So in this case, just um, an X of one, a Y value of 128, a width of 126, and a height of 63. Okay, and you can see there we've got that showing up. That looks pretty good too. Again, we still have the Z fighting here, and we can change that by giving this a little bit of an extra value. You can see that that offsets it a little bit behind the other material, and that just fixes so many issues right there. Um, we can also change the Y offset a little bit to make it line up better with the edge of the, the material above it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it about there. That should be okay. And we can tweak this later on as we get a, a bit better picture of what it's going to look like in the end. Okay, um, right side, similar deal. Okay, um, setting the body for the right side to 0, 193. 128, 128, and 62. Okay, and again, that's that segment right there. Now, you'll notice here that these are all sideways, and in fact, when we get to the bottom portion, the bottom portion is upside down. Now, the reason why this is, is because we do, um, 
everything here is basically treated like it's facing up. So even though it's it's right here, UV coordinates say this way is up. Okay, so it's just something that you have to think about when you're drawing stuff. Usually I'll draw them the right way and then rotate them around when I'm assembling the atlas here. Um, so it's up to you how you want to do it, but um, just keep that in mind. And again, same thing with this, the Z offset. I'm going to switch this to 0 0.1 and all Z issues there are fixed. Okay, last section, the bottom part here. And... This one we will have caps on it. Okay, but I'm gonna start with the body part here. Okay, so 129 with, oh, sorry, this one, 129, 127, so this segment right here, a width of 126, and then a height of 64. Okay, so that gives us that bottom part with the dangly bits, and then we just need to find caps. Caps should be simple. Um, left cap, 2, 1, 6, y value, 1, 9, 3, 38, 62. Okay, so there's the cap on that side, and you can see there it is right there. And cap on the other side should be 128, 193, okay, so right there, width of 38, height of 64. And there we go. All our caps are good, okay? Now, for this one, we have the left side that's lined up all right. And I can do this, that'll line up the texture there a little bit better. Not perfect, I could probably clean this texture up a little bit more. Um, but I could also do some other things with the cap as well. Okay, so let me show you that. Okay, so the right side, let me fix this right side first. Change the Y offset so that's a little bit closer to the edge there. Okay, I'm going to line it up with the top there. And then with the bottom part, I can actually say change where the caps are. Now that this will basically take the cap segments and squeeze them in towards the middle of the path. And this can be really great, especially when you get into colliders for these. Um, but that is an option so that you know, squeezing the caps in and out. Okay, I'm gonna leave that back at zero. Now again, you can see the fill's gone on here. And again, that was because um, we switched over to it before it actually had any materials defined on it. So if I go back to this terrain and I say fill type closed, there we go. And you have your terrain material. And this is absolutely fantastic because this type of material, you can do a lot more complex sort of behaviors with. So you can see there, just make like a little cave or whatever, and it just works, you know? And you can reuse this all over the place. There you go.